Well, hi, hello there. Welcome to my first ever vlog. Um, so thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I hope that the video has been soothing and relaxing so far and continues to be soothing and relaxing until the end. Um, this is my first video on this channel and I am just a writer who is recovering from burnout, um, prioritizing living a slightly slower life than I have in the past, and that includes taking time to work on my writing, which is what you see me doing here. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be releasing anything or how much I will be investing really in this channel. This is really just for fun. I love watching vlogs from people on the internet. Um, I particularly love Rachel Stevens vlogs and Megan Rhiannon's vlogs. I'll link them in the show notes. Um, and I just wanted to try to create something similar. I like recording my uh, life. Um, in a lot of different formats, whether that's planning or journaling, um, other forms of social media, photography, or if it's just something like this, something really simple, hitting record on a camera. So here you actually see me doing a lot of brainstorming, and that is a really important part of the creative process. Um, and one that I feel like people don't talk about as often. Um, I already mentioned Rachel Steven once in this video, and so if you're curious about what I'm actually doing, I am working through some of her plot embryo um, videos. So uh, I am answering some magic questions, I'm brainstorming, I am fleshing out a plot um, before I get to the actual writing part of the novel. I don't know much of what I'm going to be doing on this channel, but I can tell you that I think that uh, you're going to see a lot of day in the life of a writer content because it's one of the things that I love doing the most. And I really rediscovered that as I was doing this journaling session at a cafe. This session lasted three hours, I believe. It was incredible. On Wednesday, we had the first snowstorm of the season in Minnesota, so can feel the crunching of the snow. I loved the light at this time of day. It was this beautiful lavender sky. It's hard for the camera to pick up. writing is actually community, which is funny considering how much time you just spend working on your computer on your own. But here I just took some clips of myself um, waiting for and beginning my writer's group. Coming back to writer's group uh, was incredible. It was great. I felt really inspired after talking to the other people in my writer's group. Um, we've been on hiatus for a little while, so it felt really good to just, you know, do this.
one of the things I'm doing this week to work on um, some burnout stuff, of course, is getting back to commonplace book work. So I, of course, uh, haven't been using my traveler's notebook um, as much as I would like to. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think that maybe these notebooks have just sort of, like, outlived their uh, season in my life. Um, they're also really close to being done, for the most part. I mean, this one only has, like, like five pages left or something. Um, so I need to set that up differently. Of course, here... This is like so not me, but I was enjoying getting through some sticker stuff. Oh, hi, Winifred. Hello. Um, but uh, this was where I had been putting my morning pages, and it really doesn't have much because it turns out I don't love just journaling in this notebook, um, and I don't really need a morning pages notebook anyway because that's what I will be using my uh, Hobonichi cousin for in the new year um, and I'm just sort of working on my bullet journal being more like a Hobonichi cousin right now um oh this face is so cute hi Winnie hi oh she was looking at the camera oh well um so yeah anyway I I don't know how I'm going to repurpose this notebook exactly yet. It's kind of hard for me sometimes to switch when I have um, a specific purpose for a notebook in my brain and then it switches. So we'll see. Um, but nevertheless, this I actually got um, at a museum and I was like, oh, that'll be just, a, it'll be like a shorter notebook in my traveler's uh, notebook. And then I bought these can't remember what brand these just like grid notebooks are um what does it say I don't I don't even remember but they were inexpensive and the paper quality seemed nice and so I just bought a three pack knowing that as I'm commonplacing I will be um using that more um and will probably need to replace them more often so yeah, a couple of things. Um, this elastic is sort of dying after a couple of years of pretty heavy use. Um, so I need to replace that because it's just really stretched out. Um, and I kind of want to replace it with something fun, like a color. I thought that I had an orange elastic that, oh, there she is. She leapt to the window. Anyway. I thought that I had an orange, um, I thought that I had an orange elastic from when I purchased this traveler's notebook, and I can't find it right now, but I think that's because I've reorganized my desk enough times that it's just not where I consciously put it the last time I consciously put it somewhere. Um, if not, elastic is pretty cheap, so I'll just get something. Um, maybe olive, like an olive band? I don't know something cool. Anyway, I think that that will help. Um, one thing that I do want to get, I love this craft folder, but it's getting a little bit, a little bit beat up on me. Um, so I'm thinking about, I don't know, like maybe switching or adding a, uh, thinking about maybe switching or adding a like plastic pouch, like one of those like zipper plastic pouches that come with the uh, traveler's notebooks. Um, but I want to come up with a color coding system for my commonplace books because uh, commonplace books, you're supposed to be able to flip through them and find your ideas and inspiration. And I've kind of been thinking about this, like, what are my, what in fact are my special interests, you know, if, if I can be said to have special interests, and some are very long standing. Um, and like, how would I categorize them so that I could find them easily in my commonplace notebook? So I ordered a bunch of stickers for that, like, color coding, um, and I'm going to need to carry those with me because the purpose of a commonplace book is to have it with you whenever inspiration strikes or when you want to collect something that is 
you know, interesting to you. Um, and then you want to be able to find it later. So update on that probably in the next video. I don't think that I'll have those stickers by the end of this week. Um, and I kind of want to just talk about common placing in its own video. So yeah, that is some thoughts on my notebook system right now.